everybody, Max Graphics here with another tutorial, and today I'll be showing you guys how to create a GIF in Photoshop on the Mac. This will also apply to Windows as well. Um, as you can see here, I have a Crate Timeline Animation box under my logo right there, and we're going to click on that, and that will bring up the first layer in our animation, which shows the screen right now as it stands. Um, and this is my logo that I created last year. Oh, sorry about this. Let me click off this real quick. Uh, okay. I'm just going to click on that. Excuse my welding gear. <laughs> um, all right. So we're back. Um, so here I'm going to click and add a new layer to our animation, which still looks like the same. But then we're going to come over here in our layers, and we're just going to unclick them. And we're going to add a new timeline layer. Go back to our regular logo layers. We're going to unclick the view, and we're just going to keep doing this process until we have five layers at hand. And basically, just come through, uncheck that, add a new layer, and then click that again. And then we're going to just scroll through real quick, click on the first one, and then hit play. And as you can tell, it's an extremely fast GIF, or GIF, if you guys say GIF, GIF, whatever, doesn't matter, I call them GIFs. Um, but here we have the... Um, loop and it's set to once automatically. Uh, I like running them forever. It looks really cool. Um, this is really fast. It's a really fast loop. You can see it's flying through and it's pretty cool. Um, so basically you can see it. It's running through. We're going to pause this, come over here, and we're going to put a 0.2 second delay. This delay, what it does actually is delays when that specific um, layer or piece of the logo or whatever you're doing, drawing, um, will come up in flash. As you can tell, you can uh, definitely see the difference in this speed in comparison to a little bit ago when the GIF was flying through the layers at an insane speed. So that delay kind of helps slow things down. Um, kind of helps you get a comprehensive uh, look at everything and uh, kind of keeps you, keeps you going. So we're just going to clear this out real quick just so I can show you guys. We're going to um, delete animation as a whole and then we're going to come back through and then we're actually going to close the animation timeline completely out just so I can show you guys um, where to actually access this another way. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to window and click on timeline and that'll bring you right back to where you were in the beginning of the video. And here we have the timeline animation box in the beginning with our very first layer, which is our logo as a whole. And then kind of the same thing, we're just going to come back through here and we're just going to add a new layer. Uncheck some part of the logo, the outside two pieces. And we're just going to view it again and then uncheck it and then uncheck that one. Add a new layer, check that, add a new layer, and then we're going to check that one again and then come back through. Click on the first one and play it all the way. As you can see, the outside two layers of the logo are flashing at a pretty decent speed. And this is the way I've found to be the easiest way to create a GIF in Photoshop. This is my personal experience. If you guys have any other ways that are easier or quicker than this, um, let me know. I'm all ears for learning anything and everything. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, I should be creating more in the future. I know it's been a while. I was doing 3D uh, tutorials in Cinema 4D for a little bit. And kind of hoping to get some decent Photoshop content out to you guys. But if you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, like I said, any tips, tricks, or ideas, anything you guys want to see from me, uh, please let me know. I'm going to leave this PSD of my logo in the description with this video so you guys can have a mirror image of all right the logo and layers are right here this is what the video says and follow it step by step so you guys can learn how to create something like this on your own time all right guys i appreciate you coming by thank you bye